what is art. Um, it's, a, it's a broad and living question that I feel um, it forces us to reinterpret um, and come up with an answer continuously different. To me, art is about reflection, it's about communication, it's about pushing the limits and, and breaking some boundaries. Art is about exploring things that remain unknown. Art is about an experience that, as an artist, I believe um, in the creative processes, it begins as something individual to become a collective. Overall, I think art is, um, is something hard to define. Art has been changing uh, so much since the beginning of time, but it's the strong force of creativity that I believe is useful to provide answers in the shape of, in the form of questions sometimes. So there's something about art that is uh, atemporal. There's a, a time, timeless. Is we can speak to others. It's, a, it's, it's like a threshold. We can speak to others in the line of time. Sometimes we receive messages from the past and we are building bridges towards the future. To reflect in, a, in, in the philosophical aspect of, of reflection, what, what touches the, to me the most is how art has been always been um, an incredible uh, testimony of the time when art has been created uh, in terms of, of our social um, and uh, issues or our context. Um, without being objective as science, it holds and cherishes uh, a truth that, that remains alive thanks to some kind of magic, uh, the magic of, of, of the capacity that art gives, provides to everybody to interpret. So in a way, the message is not, a, it's not one message, it's not a one line direction, uh, but, but it's, it's more of about exploring the creativity within ourselves in the sense that the viewer, the visitors, not only the person or who is creating a work of art, but it's also those who are part of the experience of looking at art are forced to come up with the interpretation and the interpretation is part of a creative process. Um, yeah, I think that after the pandemic, and I'm saying after just because I have the sense that the worst part of it is over, but yet it's very, very close to what we have experienced. So I think it's not yet um, um, it's not completely over. It's like uh, I feel like we've been through a traumatic uh, experience that is not. It didn't affect only one society, but for the for first time, I think 
simultaneously is that within this moment of uh, globalization, we, we, are, we were all affected, more or less. And one of the things I feel is that pandemic, it forces us to be distant and it forces to create uh, barriers and and uh, mistrust on the level of interaction and all my work uh, or many of my works propose the opposite it propose to come together and and interact and meet the other in a way i think that uh, there is there is a new reading on on many things through what we have just experienced. And I think this is another aspect of art. It's a living, it's a living and organic element. It's not a theory or a law that is fixed as an objective. Works I have created in the past, like Classroom, for example, um, the work was created in 2017 and it was about the classroom, an empty classroom where people will see uh, their reflection as, as a ghost and, and two years after all, all schools were closed and, and we were uh, you know inviting our children to be educated in, in a virtual way so so I think that the, the events or context always alters or modifies the way that art is interpreted. As for myself, I think that um, more questions about the environment and more questions about our social interaction arose uh, through this isolation we have experienced yet it was not completely isolated process it was also something that we overcame through technology and through media that allowed us to remain connected so how is it about to be connected uh, when without our physical presence for example that's that's something interesting and and it's been dramatic but it has been also for me uh, a part of, a, of an inspiration as well.